Hi there, welcome to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video we will going to talk about the in months function. So in months function in a nutshell helps us identify whether a date is falling within a range of months. So for example, if, uh, if we have a particular date, let's say uh, 10th of March, then we want to check whether it's falling between the 1st of uh, 1st of Jan to 31st of March by specifying the three months periods over here. Then we will specify the actual date and the base date is basically related to the month which is having uh, as a base. It can be March, it can be April, it can be January. Uh, so base date is that and period number basically says that compared to the base date you want to extend or you know give take the next period or the previous period into the consideration so that is in relation to the base date and then finally first month of the year basically says that uh, uh, if you want to deal with the fiscal years so one over here is a default which indicates January but if your month or the fiscal year is starting from let's say March then you will going to specify three over here so let's go ahead and see it in the action so over here we have a temp table which has some invoices and we will going to check for a particular invoice whether it is falling in a given month or not sorry within a given range of months or not all right so for that uh, i will call it month check and i will say load star comma so star will going to load all the columns from this table so load star comma in months and uh, the first one is the range of the uh, that how many months we want to consider so for that let's take two months and uh, now we will specify the date or timestamp which is inv date and then what should be the base date so let's specify the the base date and uh, so we want to check let's say for fifth of Feb and 31st of March so this is a two months time period and uh, for that I will specify let's say 02 or 2 2 2013 and comma 0 so 0 will say that take the base period the base period is this so this should cover the Feb and March as month underscore check resident so our resident is the temp table all right since we don't need the temp table so i'm dropping the temp table as its columns is already here using the star we have already fetched the invoice date and invoice id so i'm saving this let's load it and check it in the front end table and dimension invoice date add one more dimension month check so over here we have uh, 5th of Feb is coming correctly so because the base period what we specified was the 2nd Feb and uh, I wanted to check for the period of uh, two months what if if I want to so ideally what I was also expecting is the 31st of March so what I let me do this thing that uh, let me specify three so that is in the period of three months load the data just to check whether so yeah so this is a three months period that it is uh, taking into the consideration for 31st of March so something that we need to experiment with these type of tricky function and uh, as you can see it has a base date period number now if I shift the period number let's say to one over here save it and load the data close it come to analysis you will see that uh, it is moved to uh, me over here because uh, we are looking at the two months period so from fab it is shift to march and will start from a first of april and may so this this is something slight slightly tricky with this function 
So I would suggest that uh, you experiment with this little bit just to clearly understand how it is. But I've given you the basic idea about how you are going to specify over here. Also, its documentation will going to also help you. But that's about it. Uh, I wanted to show you in this uh, video about the the in months function, which is helpful to check the date in a period of months. So now I'll meet you in the new video for the new topic.